Hello, Mrs. Pug Sniffer. I'm going to be your doctor. What's the matter today? Did you just say I look fatter today? How rude! No, no, no. I said, what's the matter? What? What did you say? What's wrong? Show me where your pain is. Show you my anus? What's that got to do with my headache? You certainly are very peculiar. Oh, so you have a headache. I think maybe you need a CAT scan. I need a casket? Like a dead person? Well, fuck you too, doctor. I came here for help, and you're making jokes. I want to speak to a patient representative immediately. You don't understand. My daughter is on the board of this hospital, you f***ing quack. And when she finds out what you've been saying to me, you'll be out of a job, you mother f***ing for brains, f***ing sucking son of a bitch. <laughs> this sucks. <laughs> Woe is me. <laughs> oh, no. <sighs> Don't let this happen to you. Many of our patients are hard of hearing. Sometimes they don't bring their hearing aids with them to the ER, and it can cause serious problems when we're trying to take a history or consent a patient for a procedure. There are all kinds of ways to boost a patient's hearing in the department. One way is to simply reverse your stethoscope and put the earpieces on them and speak closely into the diaphragm of the stethoscope. While this works really well, there's one problem. They have your stethoscope. You can't really leave it with them, but you also aren't the only person who needs to talk to the patient. Nurses, radiology technicians, social workers, and consultants are just a few of the people who will need to be able to communicate with your patient. I have a few more questions Hi, about your history. I'm Dr. Henderson. What's this about I'm methadone and methamphetamine? Hi, I'm Tony. Are you a drug addict? Take you, to you, like yeah. Yeah. you think you're pregnant? Yeah. 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 Let's be. Let's be. One solution is to see if your department has what I call a MRSA stethoscope. These are those super cheapo, crappy, disposable stethoscopes that are meant to be kept in the infection control cart. They're very inexpensive, and if you find one of these, you can assemble it and put the earpieces in the patient's ears and talk with your mouth right up against the diaphragm. The good thing about this is that you can let the patient keep the stethoscope wherever they go so everyone else can talk to them through it. And if it gets lost or misplaced, you haven't lost a valuable piece of your own equipment that you need for everything else you do in the ER. Another fast and effective way to create a hearing aid involves removing the plunger from a Tumi syringe and attaching a short amount of suction tubing, that's important, short, to the end of the Tumi syringe with the Yankauer suction tip still attached. This is basically the resurrection of an antique technology called a conversation tube which was in pretty common use before the invention of powered hearing aids. By speaking into the empty syringe, the sound is amplified and conducted to the Ankara suction tip, which is comfortably placed in the patient's ear. La, 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 la. Be careful, this gets really loud. Don't hurt anyone. Speak softly at first, and then increase the volume of your own voice until the patient can hear you. This device is super fast to make, incredibly inexpensive, and it really works. Enjoy!